Hi class, uh, welcome to IS 460 and 560. I'm Professor Fahmi Jalani. Today we'll be covering chapter 6, uh, which is project team building uh, conflicts and negotiation. So in, uh, in normal si situation, uh, we do face uh, conflict between parties uh, in our daily life, in our work, even, even through sibling too. So uh, as we all know, the project team uh, in terms of building, you need to identify the skill, uh, the people, okay, and you need to have a conversation with them, negotiate with their supervisor whether they are willing to release or work together with the, the project. Uh, so if there's no success, uh, they need to negotiate from the top management to allow uh, authorization. So uh, having said that, if there's still uh, no success, so they need to fall back, say due to maybe some politics or uh, infighting. So in the event there is success for both, so they are able to assemble the team. So, in the project management, uh, an effective team uh, should have a clear mission. Everybody should know what they are doing. Uh, product, productive inter inter interdependency. It okay, means uh, doing work, uh, uh, relying on both, not on one, okay, uh, which lead to cohesive working together. There should be trust between uh each team member uh you no know, backbiting or backstabbing things like that uh enthusiasm uh technically their drive uh the spirit uh trying to complete the project or to be successful and very result orientation uh this meaning uh it could be in phases uh completion for example so on the reason uh why teams fail uh, pretty much uh, unclear goal see where everybody are uh, lost uh, on what uh, the objective is and certain times objective keep changing which which, which is really bad yeah. uh, team roles who is doing what okay uh, what's supposed to be done uh, Team leader are not motivate, motivating. Okay, they don't give encouragement. They, uh, lack of communication, transparency in this case, uh, bad leadership. Okay, uh, managers are not doing their part. Uh, turnover means team member keep changing all the time. Uh, where we see not even team, even in companies, when yeah, those of you have work experience, for example, in McDonald's, if you have a bad manager, you chances of turnover or staff or crew being uh, resigning is quite high. Dysfunction uh, behavior also. Okay. Um, stages of group development. Okay, here we have five. Uh, first is forming. Okay, uh, members or team members should know each other. What's the strength? What's the weaknesses? What are the capabilities? Technical, software, soft skill, things like that. Storming. So as you get acquainted, okay, uh, you tend to cross each other lines and boundaries, where it will create a bit of conflict. But it depends on individual. Certain people are very calm in uh, going through the storm. Some are a bit dramatic, okay. Uh, so that's a project manager duty to make everybody relax. Okay. Nominating, see. So when you have a issue, everybody will try to reason out, uh, try to calm down, and start all over, okay. And performing, okay. This is where members will work together. 
and lastly uh, a journey means group disband so you say sep uh, separate okay. so uh, we will take a look at the next model here basically the stages see we talked about forming okay convene means uh, initially they required polite guarded interpersonal business okay inclusion as you move in to the second part, uh, we you will see storm and uh, infighting, conflict, compassionate alienation, personal agenda, say low moral. And uh, as a project manager, you need to control this from this stage. Okay, you do want it to to escalate. Okay, um, even the tiniest thing. Okay, you need to uh, extinguish the fire. Okay, you don't need to make it to a a big uh, forest fire, for example. Okay. Uh, next, once everything is normalized, okay, you organize, okay, develop team skill, confront the the real issue, which is the project, okay, rebuild morale, okay, cooperation, and that's where it will lead to productivity, trust, flex flexibility, support, confidence, efficient, high morale, okay. And you will complete the project so next uh, how to achieve cross-funded cooperation uh, subordinate goals okay rules physical proximity accessibility okay uh, these are basically some of the factors uh, which contribute to cross function cooperation okay uh, today with IT you can be somewhere else uh, but doing still doing the project in terms of for, for example a software project okay um, even a hardware project uh, where later on they will be combined brought to the site okay and this will lead to the task outcome and visual social outcome okay more on psychology okay. uh, next we'll talk about uh, building high performance team um, you need the team to be tangible uh, in terms of uh, publicity and terminal and language uh, in this case uh, they need to be able to meet the same frequency in terms of communication uh, um, that's where the job of the project manager to do or in engineering terms uh, uh, synergize uh, reward good behavior uh, for example meeting the deadline okay. uh, flexibility okay those of you who are doing who used to do 250 okay they're bound to be extension in project for example okay I'm quite flexible with that uh, creativity sometimes okay uh, project are done way ahead or maybe you're doing extra mile uh, personal touches okay uh, this is basically from experience okay we bring start back to creativity and next we talk about uh, we move on to sorry uh, virtual project team so today with, with the pandemic okay uh, and also uh, interconnectivity with uh, Zoom and Skype. Okay, I mentioned earlier, uh, projects could be done uh, where virtually. Okay, uh, when face to face is impossible. And I believe today, uh, students or staff are more comfortable with virtual, okay? and uh, which. Is uh, something that you need to take a look at, okay? Uh, to consider about, uh, and you don't let team member disappear. Means they are there at the meeting. They know what are supposed to be done, okay? Uh, what's a code of conduct, right? Okay. Uh, so everybody is in the loop uh, in terms of uh, communication and try to address any conflict okay. um, well 
I think by now some of you have have working experience and there bound to be some people who are trying to go above the line or trying to look better or look good by demonizing or saying bad things about the other person but this is normal but a good manager will be able to foresee that coming and well he should have his intuition to an experience to be able to uh, um, point out okay, uh, who is doing work who is not doing work who is saying bad things about other people when he is not doing the work uh, conflict management So conflict is basically someone perceived or being frustrated. Okay. Uh, categories, goal oriented, okay, administrative, interpersonalities, uh, views, traditional behavior and interaction. Okay. And that's what I mentioned earlier when you have a conflict, okay, the manager or project manager should be able to iron out the issue. So let's go in depth uh source of conflict okay uh, organization okay reward system okay uh, how you wanna give reward to those individuals who have done the project scarce resources uh, when you have little or no manpower okay what you wanna do uncertainty basically no objective okay uh, depreciation Interpersonality uh, for attribution. Uh, this is basically micromanaging. Uh, for communication, uh, there is no tr- transparency. Okay, personal grudges and prejudice. When well, that's happened when somebody indirectly or directly uh, will start uh, uh, issue with other people, and there will be some personal grudges. But uh, on a side track, uh, well, what what goes around comes around, see, uh, which is normal. Yeah, so we have to be patient and uh, just do whatever you think is right. Uh, conflict resolution and mediate, uh, basically bringing two person together and you being the project manager, the middleman try to diffuse the confrontation. Okay, uh, attribute judgment. Okay. Uh, it's not something that is legal but from your perspective what is the outcome control uh, is basically much to cool down the period okay, try not them try not to let them together work together for example uh, accept okay, uh, sometimes there are times where conflict cannot be resolved so you need to accept and you try to find alternative uh, eliminate or transfer and you might want the player to be removed or transferred to another place and there are times when uh, on the side uh, when thing, things do happen but uh, uh, something bad happened to you and, and sometimes it's for the better something better is waiting for you so we have to think very positive okay. next is uh, negotiation uh, this is basically where project manager used to influence okay and at the same time you ask how much power and if, like spider-man with great power come great responsibility okay. uh, time pressure right? you have a deadline uh, to complete so take note uh, and trust okay you need to trust your people do you trust them lastly you have uh, principal negotiation uh, so you need to be able to identify the problem and the people and you need to separate them uh, and focus on the interest okay uh, which is completing the project uh, and next is basically mutual gain basically the benefit is to complete the project not to uh, to get uh, famous or 
something that is uh, monetary for example okay or make somebody look bad okay. and uh, lastly is insist on objective criteria okay uh, every project you have an objective and you need to complete it so uh, that's pretty much it for chapter 6 if you have any question uh, please feel free to email me Stay warm and stay safe. Thanks, bye.